guys welcome to my channel it's me again my name is wolo and i think i need to wear my glasses um so that i can see very well because i can't really see without my glasses it's it's that bad my eyes are that bad so enough of myself thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to this channel we are still in the new year 2020 it's still fresh still brand new still a brand new decade and a lot of things have started happening. I love to share information about life in Canada, immigrating to Canada and everything that is useful. So today I'll be talking about New Brunswick. And if you are not aware, um, New Brunswick has published on its website the recruitment events and information session that they will be having for January, February and March. And they will be visiting Poland, Ukraine, Belgium, and Netherlands. So if you are living in these places, um, just get ready and I uh, will show you on their website what you should be doing and how you can actually immigrate through this means. So what they usually do is they visit these places with employers in New Brunswick and organize a recruitment session. I think I, when I did a video about New Brunswick um, visiting Birmingham and Dublin, in 2019 one subscriber was able to attend the recruitment event he, he got a job offer um, using that means and he's already in the process of immigrating to canada so that's the importance of you know always watching any of my videos and taking advantage of the information i share all information i share are very important and useful and if you don't if it's not useful to you you share it to someone that it is useful to so i will show you shortly on the website what the requirements are and the occupations they are looking for to get started you go to the welcome nb.ca web page i'll be leaving the link on the description box of this video and go to recruitment events click on recruitment events on the right side of the web page once you do that you will see the countries they will be visiting for recruitment events and also information session they will be in poland on the 29th of january they'll be in ukraine on the 1st of february they'll be in brussels belgium on the 5th of february they will also be in netherlands in february as well so you click on sign up for poland if you are in poland or you know anybody living in poland you ask the person to go to this website and click on sign up basically the recruiters will be looking for transport truck drivers login machinery operators mechanical assemblers and inspectors when you scroll down you'll find more information on what is needed you must be a legal resident of the country and you should have at least a photo page of your current passport if you have a visiting visa or a work permit or a temporary residence permit or whatever in these countries you can also apply all you need is a photo page of your current passport the visa for your current country of legal residence your language test results which is your ielts CELPIP, test tcf tef results if you have not written those tests you have to go and write those tests um your eca report you can you are you also require to evaluate your credentials so even if you have a high school diploma which is a secondary school certificate you need to evaluate it if you have a master's degree go ahead and evaluate it but of course the people they are looking for are truck drivers if you have a cv it is optional if your spouse has a cv it's also optional um you also need to have a current driver's license for you to be eligible to apply for this opportunity so to apply scroll down and fill your details here your first name last name email confirm your email address and just you know generally accept and it will take you to the next page where you will um, fill and upload certain information now on the sign up page for ukraine which is the information session they have for ukraine they have both a recruitment event and information session for ukraine if you click on it you will find information 
um, about the information session that they want to hold and it is in five sectors so people in the healthcare sector skilled trades and manufacturing client and customer services tourism hospitality food and beverage services early childhood education information technology they will be holding an information session for these professions and you can also attend these information sessions if your occupation falls in any of these um, occupations basically once you attend these information sessions you can actually put in your um, express your interest in immigrating to new brunswick through the imb portal and if they have need for you they are likely to give you a provincial nomination that can also boost your scores for express entry if you already have created an express entry profile but you must have attended the information session and it is required for people in belgium they also have a recruitment event and an information session and for the recruitment events they are recruiting logging machinery operators long-haul transport truck drivers those are the only people they are recruiting and basically the same information is required for you to register on this portal before you can be invited please also note that this is not an invitation only individuals selected will receive an invitation to attend by registering for this event you understand that there is no guarantee or implied expectation that you receive an invitation so um like it is stated there just go through the website and if you have all the necessary documents you can apply if you get an invite please uh, make an effort to attend the recruitment event because you will be talking with an employer directly for the information session in belgium they are looking at so many occupations now they have um occupations listed in the insurance um, sector supervisors finance and insurance office workers insurance adjusters insurance agents and brokers finance finance managers financial auditors financial investment analysts business development um, officers and marketing researchers and consultants for healthcare, they are looking for dentists registered nurses and registered psychiatric nurses licensed practical nurses skilled trades they are looking for machinists and machining tool tooling inspectors tool and die makers and welders now like i mentioned it is an information session and for you to attend this information session you need all these things required photo page of your current passport visa for your current country of legal residence your language test your eca report your cv uh, which is optional for you and your spouse and then you have to register to get an invite to attend now this is taking place in Brussels, Belgium. So if you know anybody living in Brussels, Belgium, um, tell the person to attend this information session because it is very critical. And uh, people who attend this information session, sometimes most of them get a provincial nomination through this um, information session. For Netherlands, um when you click on sign up you still find the same information they are looking for healthcare workers skill trades insurance finance if you know anybody living in netherlands who is a legal resident of netherlands or who has a visa to netherlands the person can actually um register as long as the person has all the necessary documents valid passports visa for your current country of legal residence language test results eca cv for yourself and your spouse which is optional and your canadian federal express entry profile number so if you have a canadian if you already have an express entry profile number and you have a valid visa to any of the schengen countries if you have a valid visa to netherlands and you know your occupation is in the healthcare industry your occupation is in skilled trades your occupation is in insurance your occupation is in finance please do not hesitate to register 
so that you can be invited to attend this information session and the reason they are asking for you to have a federal express entry profile number is that there is a likelihood of you getting a provincial nomination from new brunswick if you have a federal express entry profile number and you have attended the information session please take your time to read this information and go through this page remember they will be in netherlands on february 8th and 9th 2020 for those who will be attending the recruitment event if you get a job offer immediately from the employer from new brunswick you will have to come to this page again and click on nb skilled worker stream once you do that you scroll down to find information on how to go about submitting your application for a provincial nomination um, these are the forms you need to fill and then you also find the information on how you can apply by clicking on the quick guide to submitting an eoi to the nb skilled worker stream um, it takes you to this page if you have the time come take a look at this page and you'll find the details on what is required once you're done you can actually also come to imb portal either you click here or you scroll up and click here it's still the same thing it will take you to the imb portal and if you click on the imb portal it will take you to the page where you will have to register so you register your personal details fill the necessary information and like i mentioned earlier for people who are successful at getting a job offer this is where you have to come to register and you have to upload all these documents so for those who get a job offer this mbpnp004 employer support is required for you to fill your online application um, you fill the content and declaration form if you want to use a representative that's a licensed immigration consultant to help you with your application you will need to fill this form as well and then this is um, this form is declaration of non accompanying whatever it's if it is needed you also upload it so um this is basically the information that you need concerning applying for the skilled worker stream and remember like i said it is for people who have gotten a job offer from the recruitment event and they are the ones that should fill the mb skilled worker stream so if you need more information detailed information on how to fill the imb portal you click on the imb user guide for applicants it is a 55 page document which you have to take your time to read and follow the procedures on what is required on the page so the page is opening currently and it's like i mentioned it's a 55 page document so you take your time to read this go through it and ensure that whatever you upload on the imb portal is um according to the rules and guidelines there is also the mb skilled worker stream program guide that has been updated it was updated last in december you can take your time to click on this guide and go through it as well go through it to get more understanding of how new brunswick skilled worker um, provincial nomination works so you have a clearer understanding of what is obtainable thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye